Hey guys, um, I have a haul today. Um, it's not so much as stuff like that's wearable, but it's pretty much just makeup. I've been buying a lot of makeup lately. But I do have a couple things. I wasn't going to buy a homecoming dress because I don't need one and I don't really care about homecoming, but my friend Nikki is just like, you need one. So I wasted my money on one, but I really like it, so I'm kind of glad I did. So I got it at Deb, and it looks like this. It has a sweetheart top strapless. And it's the middle, and there's like little pockets right here. They're really pockets. And um, this pleats out. It hits um, like just above my knee, which is way longer than my other dresses. But, and it's white. Hold on. Yeah, it's white, and it has this really gorgeous print. And it's like 3D. I don't know what you'd call that, but it's really sweet. And there's a, oh, and it ties in the back. It's so cute, and this was, oops, only $39.99. I'll definitely be wearing this again some other time. I just throw it. And then this morning at Kroger, since I dyed my hair, I got a new shampoo. I got Herbal Essences Color Me Happy, which I haven't used since, like, my sophomore year of high school. It smells really good, though. It's got it on my face. Oh, and I got the conditioner, too. I like it. It smells pretty good. <clears throat> and then I went to Grand Rapids like a couple weeks ago. I don't know. I haven't used these yet, but I got some reading glasses. And I really like these because like I'm blind. Like so blind. Like I'm far sighted. I don't know. Stuff that's close up to my face I can't really see. So I got these really cute ones. I actually like these a lot. They look like this. I haven't even worn them yet. What they look like. They have really, really cool design on them. See? These are sweet. Well, I guess I can show you what they look like on. Don't laugh. <laughs> I like these. My boyfriend likes them too. I think these were like $10 or something. I don't remember. Something like that. <clears throat> and then today I went a couple places. There's like a little plaza where I just found a couple products and things. First place I went was Dollar Tree. Actually, it wasn't the first place, but I'm going to say it is. And, um, whoa. I got this little black plastic, like, basket-y thing. Yeah, because I already have a white one that's, like, half this size, but I use this to put, like, my lotions, perfumes, and, like, hair products in, but my other one's too small, so I just got a bigger one. Dollar, obviously. Um, I just got another hairbrush like that little paddle brush because I broke mine I've just been using a comb and I really shouldn't be combing my hair since it's so thick I got a brush from the dollar store like a couple years ago and it lasted me like two years before it broke and I it, it wouldn't have broke if I wasn't so rough on it but they were actually good quality and I got this Q-Tex strengthening nail polish remover because I didn't want to pay like three dollars at the regular store it's the same thing it's just a little jank because they don't give you a full bottle but that's all right so yeah. And then I also just got some wet wipes. There's 60 in here. Also just a dollar. Um, I got these because I take off my makeup with like baby wipes. But baby wipes are expensive. So I'm just like, hey, these are cool. These are expensive too. So I got them at the dollar store. I can barely open it. Yeah. Oops. That's those. Checking my time. Oh, my hair's straight for once, which is never straight. So... Let me know if you guys like my hair straight or curly better. I think I like straight. I don't know. <clears throat> and then I went to TJ Maxx. I just got one little thing. I was waiting for my mom, so. I got this Moom Organic Hair Remover, like, wax kit thing. There's, like, the little wax. There's two little, like, popsicle stick things and then some cloth in the back. I just wanted to try this. For, like, my eyebrows, because I really hate tweezing my eyebrows. I mean, it's it doesn't hurt or anything. It's just annoying because it takes so long, but yeah. And this was $4.99. And then the last place I went, I think the last, yeah, the last place I went was Target. I went to Target in hopes of finding some e.l.f. products, but I forgot that, hey, I live in Flint. There's no good e.l.f. products at Target. I kind of have a really bad Target, but I did find a couple things that I've been wanting forever. 
One of which being the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara. I've been wanting clear mascara for a, such a long time. I wanted this for like my eyebrows because my eyebrows get crazy. But yeah. So I finally got that and that was $4.24. And then this I've been wanting for ever and I could never find it anywhere in the whole wide world. I almost bought it online because I was so desperate. But it's this Revlon nail polish and it is in minted. Come on, focus. You can kind of see, but it's minted. It's like a really pretty mint green color. I love this. I have not been able to find this anywhere. And I finally did, and I'm like, yes. It was only $3.89. I thought it was more than that, but Target's the shit, so I guess not. Last thing I got, I wasn't planning on buying, but I just like walked by it as I was going to check out. And I couldn't resist. It's e.l.f. It's this e.l.f. beauty book lip edition. So it's really pretty much just like a little lip palette like that. And it was on clearance. Originally $5 on sale for $1.25. Um, because when you open it up, um, it's on clearance because some of the lip glosses were touched. There's a plastic thing over it. And you can tell like the plastic thing is what touched these. Not like people. So that didn't bother me. Plus the four, four or five colors that it touched, I wouldn't have used it anyway. So it doesn't really bother me at all. Whatever. And then there's a little mirror at the top. Whoa. And then a little lip liner and a little lip brush. I should have took off the plastic. I don't know. And over here it has like directions, which I probably will never use. But this was really cool. I was excited that I found this. I can't open it for you guys. I'm trying. Hold on a minute. Hold on, y'all. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. I almost got it. <laughs> Come on, they want to see. You guys probably actually don't care nearly as much as I do. I just haven't even opened it yet, so I'm like, let's go, let's go. Okay, if I had, like, scissors or something just chilling right here, right now, this would be great. Oh, I got it, yes. Eee, almost. Like my noise effects. There we go. Ta-da. Yeah, they're a little touched, but they're only touched by the plastic, so it doesn't bother me. It's not like people were just like playing around in it or whatever, so that doesn't bug me at all. Plus, like, I just kind of scraped off the plastic and put it back in so I wouldn't like lose any. But I really like this. And I'm scared to open it because these things are going to fall out. There we go. This was a good deal. $1.25 for 12 lipsticks, a lip liner, and a brush. I love this little thing. Alright, but that my friends, is all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah. Bye, guys.